Hello, GB Networks here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a short little video about how to use and set up a PoE injector to power a access point or anything like that. So let's get into it. All right, now that we have the camera position a little bit better so I can have my hands free, we will try to get this done as best as we possibly can without any interruptions because this is the whole point is just to try to teach you how um, a PoE injector works and how to set it up. So let's get into it. First thing I do want to note, it does look a little bit messy. I don't have a ton of room to work with, but we will try to get done as best as we can. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get our PoE injector and we want to take the power cable to it and we want to plug it in. So you just take the end here, you plug it in here and you want to take the other end and plug it into a power strip or whatever power you have at the moment. And it's just easier for me to plug into a power strip. And as you can see, it is blinking, or not blinking, but it's just like a silver white. So that is good. That means it is powered on. And so as you can see, there are two ports. There's a PoE port and a LAN port. LAN port here, you want to plug into your switch. And the PoE, you want to plug into your access point or whatever you want to um, power on through PoE. This makes it so you don't need a PoE switch. Makes it kind of nice just so it saves you a little bit of money. I recommend still getting a PoE uh, switch into the future, but right now this is, would be good for anybody just starting to get into networking. So we just take our cable here. I do like the Ubiquiti Ethernet cables just because you can kind of bend it into place. So we take it, put it into LAN port, and you put it into a port that is open on your switch here. And you can see it just clicks in there. And the next thing that we do is we take the other uh, ethernet cable that we have, because you do need two of them, and you just plug it into the PoE port. And the next thing you do is, for example, I just have my AP or UAP AC Pro uh, access point that we're just gonna power up quick. So you wanna take your ethernet end and plug it into the main um, port on your access point or whatever you're powering up. And you should hear a click just like that. And as you can see, it should start up. Yep, you can see it there. It is starting up and it should be white just for a little bit. That means that the PoE, inje the PoE injector is working and is powering it up. And if you have it adopted already in your controller, it should turn blue in about 30 seconds or so and you should be all good to go. So that is it. The video is almost ending. I will say here though, is that they are making a PoE Plus injector, which I believe is already out. You, there's a couple different ones. There's a PoE Plus for uh, Wi-Fi 6 access, po accent, access points, um, excuse me there. Um, or you can have your regular PoE injector which I have one laying around, but I can't find it at the moment. So there's two ones. I recommend getting the white one here just for future use. So other than that, that is the end of the video here. It's a quick video. So like, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks.